dear students welcome to the problem solving session part 4 on lagrange multipliers method this method is very much interesting that's why i'm posting different kind of interesting problems we'll see one of those problems in this session those who don't watch the basics video go to the playlist watch the basics part 2 and part 3 video and come back here it will be more convenient for you to continue this session in today's session we are going to have a different problem find the shortest and longest distance from a point 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 to the sphere using lagrange's method of constraint maxima and minima so first we have to consider a sphere and then we have to take a point 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 and it is given the equation of sphere is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 24 now i want to find the shortest and longest distance from the point 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 to the sphere let us go into the step objective we know we want to find the shortest and longest distance from the point 1 comma 2 comma minus 1 Do you remember, students? In our school days, we read the distance formula: x minus x1 whole square, y minus y1 whole square for a two given points x comma y and x1 comma y1. In some books, it is given as x2 comma y2. So the formula will vary. Now let us consider the point on this sphere as x, y, z, and the given point is one comma. 2 comma minus 1 therefore the distance is obvious we have to write in the three dimensions x minus 1 whole square y minus 2 whole square plus z plus 1 whole square this is my d but what is the problem if i take this problem as f i would suffer a lot to solve the problem because of the square root so i am going to take d square equal to x minus 1 whole square y minus 2 whole square z plus 1 whole square i will take this as f i will solve the problem and end up the problem i'll take the square root so it is very easy for me to tackle the problem so i am going to take my function f as d square that is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus z plus 1 whole square and very obvious sphere is given to us and i will take it as equation 2 from this i am going to write g as x square plus y square plus z square minus 24 now we have to write the auxiliary equation we know that by lagrange's multiplier method capital f is equal to f plus lambda g and we know our f and g next we are going for step 2 stationary points the stationary points are capital f x 0 capital f y 0 and capital f z 0 simple usually in all our problems we try to eliminate lambda or minus lambda etc but it is not necessary always we have to eliminate lambda or minus lambda you can eliminate in a different format also if the answer is coming very quick we can try in a different format let us see this problem differentiating f partially with respect to x will give you 2 into x minus 1 plus lambda into 2x equal to 0 now i can take this 2 outside i'll be getting this now as i said i want to eliminate lambda in any of the form so now lambda x is there x is there i am going to write x plus lambda x i'll push the minus 1 to the other side it will become 1 now i'll take x commonly out and i will keep 1 plus lambda in equal to 1 similarly when i differentiate f partially with respect to y i'll be getting 2 into y minus 2 plus 2 lambda x equal to 0 then in the same way i'm eliminating 2 and i'm taking y plus lambda y together and pushing 2 to the other side now taking y outside i'll be getting 1 plus lambda and finally 2 into z plus 1 plus lambda into 2y equal to 0 this is the partial differentiation with respect to z and then taking 2 common will be getting this in the next step assemble z and lambda z will be getting z plus lambda z is equal to minus 1 taking z outside now you see 1 plus lambda 1 plus lambda 1 plus lambda this is common for all the three equations so i am going to eliminate this 1 plus lambda take 1 plus lambda to the denominator and bring the element to the denominator on the left hand side a similar thing bring the 2 here and 1 plus lambda here so i will be getting x equal to 1 by 1 plus lambda and y by 2 is equal to 1 by 1 plus lambda and minus z is equal to 1 by 1 plus lambda now my aim is to 
eliminate 1 by 1 plus lambda why i am doing this just see the final answer i don't want simplification now simplification step gets over x equal to y by 2 equal to minus z i can directly write so step 3 is eliminated now if you don't want to solve the equations we get the relations directly then we can proceed as usual to find the answer for substitution I want to substitute this in 2 because we start with 1, 2, we have to end with 2, 1. Now, write the equation of the pair. I want to convert everything in terms of either x or y or z. Now, I am going to convert everything in terms of x. So, from this, I can say z equal to minus x. So, z I can replace by minus x and y I can directly replace by 2x. Proceeding this, I will be getting x square 2x whole square minus x whole square equal to 24. So, x square plus 4x square plus x square that is going to be 6x square is equal to 24. Therefore, x square is 4 and x should be plus or minus 2 because we are founding shortest and longest distance. So, I need both the points. When I take x equal to 2, substituting here, I will be getting y equal to 4 and z equal to minus 2. You can just substitute here. Similarly, when I substitute x equal to minus 2, I will be getting y is equal to minus 4 and z is equal to 2. Therefore, the points are 2 comma 4 comma minus 2. The other point is 2 comma minus 4 comma 2. So, these are all the two stationary points which I found from the problem. Now, substituting this in the equation 1. So, let me take one point as A and the other point as B. Now, substitute and find the value of F. So, let us take it as A, 2, 4, minus 2. When I substitute, I will be getting 1 square plus 2 square plus minus 1 whole square. It is going to be simply 6. So, the square on the distance is 6. Distance is actually root 6. It can't be negative. Next, similarly, if you take the point minus 2, comma, minus 4, comma, 2, substituting in d square and simplifying, we will be getting 9 plus 36 plus 9, that is 54. So, d2 square is 54 and d2 is going to be square root of 54, that is nothing but 3 root 6. So, now it is very obvious, the first point is going to be the shortest distance and second point I have the longest distance. Therefore, the shortest distance is root 6 and the longest distance is 3 root 6. Hence, we solve the problem. Next, for your practice, I am going to give one more problem which is almost similar to this problem. Find the shortest and longest distance from the point 3, 4, 12 to the sphere. Okay, let us take the sphere and the equation is given as x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1 and the point is given as 3, 4, 12. Now, I want to find the shortest and longest distance from the point using Lagrange's method. As usual, this is my objective and take x, y, z be the point on the sphere, then the distance is going to be d and I am taking d square. We discussed in the previous problem. I will take f equal to d square and it is an equation 1. The constraint is going to be my sphere, equation 2 and I can get g directly from it. Now, by Lagrange's multiplier method, I will write capital F is equal to small f plus lambda g and rewriting the equation, step 1 gets over. Step 2, I am going for the stationary points. My fx equal to 0, fy equal to 0 and fz equal to 0. Now, make the table differentiating, we will be getting like this, as I said, I want to eliminate lambda in any form. So, just eliminating the 2, I will be getting x minus 3 plus lambda x equal to 0. Now, assembling this x, I will be getting x plus lambda x equal to 3. So, x into 1 plus lambda is equal to 3. Similarly, when I differentiate f partially with respect to y, I will be getting 2y minus 4 plus lambda into 2y equal to 0. Eliminating 2 and taking this terms together, I will be getting y into 1 plus lambda equal to 4. Now, differentiating f partially with respect to z and removing 2, we will be getting z plus lambda z equal to 12 and taking 
z outside we will be getting like this so now i can just eliminate 1 plus lambda from this equation so take the 1 plus lambda to the denominator on the other side we will be getting x by 3 equal to 1 by 1 plus lambda y by 4 is equal to 1 by 1 plus lambda z by 12 is equal to 1 by 1 plus lambda now step 3 equations to solve i don't have any equations to solve i can just write directly x by 3 is equal to y by 4 is equal to z by 12. Now I want to convert the problem everything in terms of z. So x equal to 3z by 12, y equal to 4z by 12. Now I am going to do the substitution. We know the equation is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 1. Just substitute the value of x and y. I don't cancel this because it is easy for me to take the LCM. If I cancel 3 by 12, I will be getting here 1 by 4 and here I will be getting 1 by 3. So taking final LCM will be a issue. So I will simply take like this. I square it, take the LCM. Now we will be getting 169 z square equal to 144. z square is 144 by 169. Since it is a max min distance, z equal to plus or minus 12 by 13. This is my solution for z. In the previous problem, we solved for x. That's why for a change, I solved here for z. Now, now substituting z value as 12 by 3 as well as minus 12 by 3, we'll be getting the corresponding y and x value. So we'll be getting now two different points. The points are going to be 3 by 13, 4 by 13, 12 by 13, all are positive. And the second point is minus 3 by 13, minus 4 by 13, minus 12 by 13, because we have the relation here. If you put z equal to 12 by 13, I will be getting x value as 3 by 13. If you put minus, I will be getting this point minus 3 by 13. Therefore, we found the two points. Let us go into the equation 1. First, find d square. Then finally, we can take the square root. Let us take the distance from the point A. We will take this as A. Now, substituting this point in this equation and use your calculator please. 991 ms or whatever you have. You can just get the answer in a simplified way. My d1 square is going to be 144. Therefore, the distance is going to be 12. Next, substituting the point B in F, we'll be getting this. Use your calculator. As I said, it will give the answer immediately. d2 square is 196. Because don't do all the simplification and waste your time. I said how to do this in calculator also. Then d is going to be 14. Therefore, obviously, this is the largest distance and this is the shortest distance. So the shortest distance is 12 and the longest distance is 14. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.